Uh, so today we are going to be predicting the three unknown sets and I'll also be giving you a bit of an update on another unknown set which has been given to another set so I guess kind of an update for that if you haven't heard already uh, but before we get into this I do just want to apologize that my upload schedule has been a bit all over the place mostly because of these rumors uh, I did also end up posting this week in Lego Star Wars on Friday instead of uh, Wednesday just so I could review visions uh, so yeah it's kind of just everywhere uh, which isn't great, but hopefully uh, we will get back to normal now. Uh, and yeah, we still have some rumors coming out, so we'll see. Maybe in the next few weeks we'll get back to more of a normal state. Yeah, we have three sets which we don't know, and there could be more, I guess, but these are the ones that we have set numbers for. Uh, set 75323, set 75324, and 75325, and 75326 is the one which we know now. So we're going to start with 75323. And this set isn't actually confirmed to come out in winter 2022. Uh, I've only seen it kind of mentioned slightly. So I wouldn't count this as definitely coming out. I think it could be like uh, the equivalent to the Darth Vader's Meditation Chamber. Where that was set 753, no 75296. Which should have put it um, with the January wave last year. But it came out in the summer. So maybe this is like an 18 plus set. Uh, but obviously I can't say for sure otherwise I well I do think it is an 18 plus set coming out in August or whatever but if it's not I guess it could be another micro fighter could be the dual micro fighter and maybe another battle pack uh, because since we only have these three sets left we're either going to be missing an extra micro fighter an extra battle pack uh, so I think we are going to be missing both actually because we still need a dual micro fighter so I think that one of these sets will be the dual micro fighter, one will be some other set, and then one will be another one. There's also a 4 plus set which needs to come out, so there are some weird gaps here, and I don't think LEGO will miss either the dual micro fighter or the 4 plus set, so I think that two of these sets are each one of those. But for now, I'm just going to sideline this one as coming out in August. Next up is it set 75324, which we do have a rumoured price for, being 2999 USD. Uh, so that's kind of interesting, uh, I, like we kind of don't have another one coming out, so I guess we always kind of have a 29 or 39 set uh, that comes out in January. Uh, this isn't the dual micro fighter, I guess it could be the 4 plus set, that would make some sense, maybe like a 4 plus Y wing, uh, though I wouldn't put money on that. It could be though, that's kind of a weird thing. Also, the 4 plus set could be the Death Star Battle, and it could come with like an X-Wing, a Y-Wing, a TIE Fighter, and a Toad or something, I don't know. Uh, but for $60, that could make a bit of sense. Uh, so that, I guess, would make more sense, and then these ones wouldn't be the 4 plus set. In terms of what else the set could be, I think a Snow Speeder is quite likely, uh, considering the rest of the Hoth stuff, and it's kind of amazing that we will, at this time, have two 8080s on shelves plus technically three uh, considering the micro fighter uh, but yeah and we won't have a snow speeder to go against it I think that that's kind of weird uh, so I think that it makes a lot of sense to release one for Lego and then this wave could have a Luke's land speeder and a snow speeder uh, as well as uh, possibly a bad batch set however I'm kind of leaning into this not being likely as I realized that with the Clone Wars season 7 sets uh, we got the two sets uh, in the summer and then we had to wait until the summer next year to get more sets so in August uh, 2022 I think we can expect some more bad batch sets but in terms of this wave coming up I don't think there will be any this could also be a Wampa cave that is kind of random but I just thought of that uh, just because we haven't had one in uh, by the time we were released 12 years uh, unless you count the one in the uh, Assault on Hoth set which if you do, it would mean that there's a pattern, uh, meaning that there would be one coming out in 2022. Uh, seeing as the Assault on Hoth released in 2016 and the previous one released in 2010. Uh, is that likely though? No, it's kind of a random guess. I'm just kind of hoping for that. Uh, otherwise, I have no idea what the set could be. Maybe something based on The Mandalorian, however probably just an original trilogy set. Uh, maybe an A-Wing, I guess, that could be okay, uh, considering the Resistance A-Wing has now retired. But yeah, an A-Wing, I think, is a pretty safe bet. 
Next up is set 75325, which we don't exactly have a price for, however on Jedi Jack Penguin site, which by the way I'm using all these images for from, uh, it's apparently going to be 60 US dollars, I guess that this could be another helmet, uh, this could be the at pilot helmet that was delayed, uh, obviously I'm not even sure if this is 60 dollars, but obviously it could be anything. I guess it's, if it's not, it could be the 4 plus set or the dual mic provider just to get that in there. But really, uh, if we kind of have to guess $60, even though it might not be, uh, just because otherwise we have nothing to guess it on. If it is $60, I think that the safest bet is a Nabu Starfighter. I've been predicting this for a while, I don't know why, I just kind of felt it. Uh, though really I don't have any evidence on it. But I think that this does make sense for the price, uh, considering that the last one was 50 and then inflation wise it brings us up to about here. The last one came out in 2015 by the way, so I think that a Nabu Starfighter could work quite a lot. Hopefully I get surprised though with something else, uh, but yeah I think I'd be pretty happy if there was a Nabu Starfighter coming. Oh, I did promise you an update on 75326 and that has been given to Boba Fett's palace. We knew that was coming but we didn't have a set number attached to it, however I think we all expected this to be the case and that does mean that it will be a hundred dollars uh, in the US so that's a fair price I think for it. The one from 2012 was 120 though uh, so I want to see how they downscale it and see if it's okay. Uh, but yeah those have been kind of my predictions, kind of a rambling video uh, on what I think these sets will be. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below, uh, obviously we don't know all the stuff, and yeah, let's hope we find out soon enough. However, that will be all for today, I hope you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe, that'll be all folks, goodbye.